Wow, look at that beautiful blue sky. Uh, and a really bright wintry sun. Although the sun isn't doing much to the uh, thermometer. Which according to that is uh, about 6 degrees above freezing. Which it don't feel like it. But we're not playing outside. We, we, we have to do some work in the shed. So uh, let's go in there. Well, for scrapping Irish, no, I can't drive with that round in the car all week. Uh, I am getting ready for another aluminium scrap run. So that's there. Got a nice little walkway all the way through to the bench. Yeah, which is, uh, well, you know, with aluminium radiators everywhere I've still got uh, copper I need to sort out I then started playing with some e-waste which uh, which led me to some micro scrapping which then led me to the decision what the hell are you playing at so let's pan back, okay, tiny little workbench, big motor, tubs and tubs and tubs and tubs and another tub there, and I think there's two tubs that way, of what Dan from K and D scrapping would classes smalls well you know we all do it we all micro scrap apart from e-waste mate oh we have caught him doing micro scrapping here and there so my decision's going to be stop micro scrapping i can do that later get rid of the big stuff then we can go back to the small stuff so i've got a sack there and all i'm going to do is take the tubs of smalls stuff that needs micro scrapping and i'm just going to empty it in there i like lies with that lot and other stuff that's going to give me some workspace workspace with which to get rid of some of the bigger items Yeah, another big electric motor there that needs to be sorted. Uh, I'll give me my bench back. I'll see you in five and a half hours. E well, I didn't, did I? Uh, I carried on micro scrapping, which leads me that uh, I do have to clear my bench. So I thought oh, I'll just show you how to do one of these. So it seems I've picked up a lot of these little electric motors. Uh, so, let's, uh, without further ado, let's, let's check it bits. So, what have we got? Ooh, weighs nothing. Uh, tiny, I'm going to guess, 12 volt electric motor. It's got a worm screw on the end. And it's got a little bit of a circuit board on. And a microcontroller chip but what we're interested in is the copper I'm sure you know I do this not saying it's the best way it's not look at that it, it, it's blunt and the edge is not very parallel so they're on noise There we go. Literally, I know it's not razor sharp, but at least this time the edge is straight. Well, so what have we got? Well, we've not got a, a, a little electric motor. 
So when all they've got a copper coil going round, which means to get electricity, yeah, you know, to, to get electromotive force, you either spin a magnet in a coil of copper, or you spin magnet, or you spin iron around inside a copper wind it like this like, like that so that's an armature and that spins inside copper coils and that gives you the magnetic flux it gives you electromotive force which gives you uh, turning circular motion into circular motion which takes oh well you know what I mean you get you get an electric motor so I want to get that drive out of there so I'm going to stick it on top of that socket I'm going to give it a tap take a punch punch that straight through and in this case it's a little magnet so that magnet spinning round inside them copper coils or should I say when you apply electricity to there you induce an electric magnetic field which is, I guess is alternating well, it's a direct current so it can't be alternating but anyway it creates a magnetic field which of course that's got a north and south pole so the north will be attracted to the south the south will be repelled from the north eh, I've got my magnetism wrong right yeah the magnet will be attracted to the south so it wants to spin that way but then that will put the north against on this side and get the south then against the south so it wants to repel and it will turn a bit more very fast well that's not what we're here for we're here to take that bit I'm just going to take the snips and I'm going to cut off that bit of circuit board uh, that was easy enough we'll come back to that so we got that we can split that apart with the with a hammer we will take a pair of snips down to zoom out Another pair of snips, and we'll pull the iron off. We'll, we'll pull the iron off that one. Come back to that. Probably easier to hold it rather than doing two lots of pliers doing this means the scrap gods are likely to demand the blood sacrifice a little bit of iron which will go into the shred box usually it's a microwave case At this point I've got a choice I can do the Raphael scrapper method and just take the snips cut straight through got that give it a twist and there's a little bit of copper that goes in the tub or I can take the hammer and then I can bash it pull out a tiny little bit you pull it apart easy enough to pull out the bits of plastic more than one ways to skin a cat and there you go one tiny little motor stripped add it to the copper pile and I ended up with this a tiny bit of circuitry with a microcontroller on what appears to be some brass could it be gold? I 
you reckon? Gold? Let's cut it. Ah. That's brass. Oh. Bit of, tiny bit of brass out of it. We've got some pins inside there. And I don't know how to get them off. Hammer. Hammer it. Let's give it a bash. Bish, bash, bosh. Even don't give it a clue. That's working. Anyway, then. Let's talk about this in a minute. Because what I've got there is a tiny bit of copper. And it is a tiny bit of copper, but I will have four of them. There you go. I bet every day Sowers is glad she's got one of these. Hey then, this is where we start getting, this is where we start to get, I don't want to say stupidly, huh. tiny bit of copper, there we go. So this is really, truly micro scrapping, flattening. Get it off. Snips. And there is the tiny, 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 tiny piece of copper that was inside that. And likewise, there we go. I put, put the others to it though. We've actually got more than a little bit. Well, the circuit board goes on the circuit board pile. Every bit helps. So, right, this is going to invite lots of comments. I have a friend, good friend, called uh, Vincent Ostaposovich. You'll know him as Baggett Corner. He has a channel, interesting channel. And Vince's view on that would be, Ian, life is too short to waste your time doing that. Go out and do something else. To a point, he's right. The argument would be, I like doing that. Now, taking that tiny tidgy little bit of copper out of that bit of plastic that might be micro scrapping too far however i do get a sense of enjoyment out of what i do i like reading i'll sit down and i'll read a book for hours it doesn't get anything done but i enjoy it people can go fishing go fishing for hours they may not catch any fish but the end I assume they enjoy fishing. I'd sooner watch grass grow than, than do that, to be honest. And lots of other things. Golfing. Although you could say, well, you're getting exercise golfing. I suppose you could say you're getting exercise fishing. I'm getting exercise hammering. Anyway, that's micro scrapping. And although this video is really just what I'm doing in my shed at the moment, rather than showing you something what 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 can you say if you're happy doing it well you're not doing any harm are you? you're not doing any harm to anybody else don't feel guilty 
what I've got to do in here is organise myself. Get rid of the bigger stuff. And then I can microscope, micro scrap the smaller stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, I'm going to pack to throw in everything in my sacks. And hopefully, I'll show you a clean bench soon. Well, as can be seen, it's pitch black. Uh, the... I don't know if it'll focus. We've certainly dropped to just about freezing. And uh, we got the chimney up and the fire going. Okay, where are we up to? Well, we've got a lot of the radiators stripped, a lot of the uh, aluminium. Sorry, I just had to turn Tony Hopkins off. Uh, we've got the fire going oh, I'm getting some lovely heat off that right we didn't get as far as I'd like to got steady guy steady but as you can see from earlier we have made a big difference uh, big enough so I can now start tattling some of these bigger projects whilst I was at it Now this is more for just everyday solos. As I was sweeping all the bits up, I come across a few things. A couple of microchips, uh, MOSFETs, I think you call them. And some uh, ferrite, copper wrapped ferrite, copper wrapped ferrite toroids. But anyway, that's just a little tip for everyday sellers. <laughs> so, because with this hammer, you've got a, it going to a thin point, you can just grip them like that. And if you tap them on the edge, you'll generally break it off in one go or you can use the point just to clean it up and likewise with this you can uh, just hit on the edge and it cleans it up like that and if in doubt you can just hit the edges with the shirt point and that's for the little bits well, just whack them. Just whack them and you'll get all the lovely copper out. So I'll pull that to one side. And likewise with these toroids, or whatever you call them, you can just hit it with a sharp end and break them. And once you've broke them, you can just pull them apart. Like that. Or you can hit them further. And get all the ferrite out. Which of course. Being. Magnetic. Can go in the uh, iron tub. So I guess all that's left for me to do now. Is to. Sweep the table. And we're all ready for tomorrow. Oh, one more little thing to do. That's this e waste. Because as everyone knows, I don't keep e waste, I just store it in a secret location so, there we go gold Ta 
time to go in. Don't actually only keep e waste in here. I do actually keep all my uh, aluminium, my radiators, my stainless steel, which I don't think you can see very well, uh, and wire that needs sorting out. So, Ian, not in his shed, in a secret location, saying good night for now, and everyone take care. Oh. It's a mint. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Good night, folks.